I think this is a time to look very carefully at bonds. Because if you can get a 4 or 5% return with limited risk, if you hold it to maturity, limited risk, that's better than the risk of the stock market with all these new uh, economic numbers coming out in the next few days. Well, I'd say two things. First off, I think stocks are always a better long-term investment. Yeah, for sure, long-term. Uh, 100%. Yes. I, I think the mistake here is bonds, yes, are very attractive here. The two-year Treasury now is the best it's been since 2007 in yield. That's a long time. Yeah. The mistake investors will make right now is I'd buy a longer-term bond portfolio because at some point the Fed will pivot and rates will start coming down again. And if you start locking all your money up in one-year Treasury paying 5%, which is phenomenal, you have what you call a reinvestment risk. In 12 months, all of a sudden your money comes due, well, and what if interest rates are lower? I would only put fresh money into treasuries as opposed to fresh money into stocks. So if you've saved a little bit more yeah. and you've got that money, I would go short-term bonds, not stocks. That's me. Last word to you. I wouldn't do that. I would say longer term, the bonds start locking in, and the stock market right now is phenomenal value. Outside of big tech, you've got valuations that are historically cheap. This is the time to buy. Well, we shall agree to differ. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ryan, you're all right. Thanks very much, Indira. Okay. Thanks, Thanks, Stuart. Stuart.